ขี้ยวเสือขี้ยวหมีขี้ยวอูดขี้ยวหมูขี้ยวหมูตัน different kinds of teeth ขี้ยวลิง so ขี้ยวเสือ tiger teeth ขี้ยวหมี bear's teeth ขี้ยวอูด camel teeth ขี้ยวลิง monkey teeth or ape teeth ขี้ยวหมูตัน the wild boar's tusk or teeth Uh, which have no cavity inside the tooth is very rare. It's called kiao mu tan. Kiao mu is the uh, pig or boar tusk or tooth, and kiao mu tan is the tusk or tooth which has no hollow inside. It is a rare occurrence. And so, now take the laser arrow. First, to look at the skulls. Galo mi. If you understand the skull of the bear. And the galog mu, the wild boar skull. So you can see the anatomical form of how their fangs, their tusks, or their teeth grow on the skull. Galog ud. This is a ud camel skull. You can see the teeth, and good to examine the teeth and the tusks of each skull. Will give you an idea of how the teeth should actually be formed. Galoxia. This is a tiger skull, and the tiger teeth. You can see the fangs, the back teeth, and the front incisors. And galogling, the monkey skull, with its two long fangs and other fangs. So you can see the length and thinness of the fangs. Here, the thickness and the taper of it has a smooth taper and no jagged. Parts. We can see in the kio mi here in the mu, uh, the mi, the bear. We can see how here the tooth is thick and all of a sudden comes in here on an angle, like scooped out. Here too, on the tiger tooth, it is just a smooth line all the way down, huh? like a banana almost, huh? or like a tusk, more like a tusk. So if we take this here now, is kio mi. This is the bear tooth. You can see what I just talked about—the thick piece which is inside the skull here. You can see here, and then suddenly this scoop out. You can see it scoops out here. <clears throat> These bear's teeth are very commonly mistaken for tiger's teeth, even by the monks who bless and inscribe them when they are given them. Uh, because even the monks who empower these, not all of them are trained in recognizing the difference between kio mi, the bear's tooth, and kio sia. This here is where the red arrow is. Is the tiger tooth, which you can see is a smooth, more has a slight bulge here, but it's a smooth, more or less a smooth line with a slightly blunt. Pointed fang on the end, yeah, and it is round. Also, around the whole tooth has a a very roundness to it, all the way around, which is slightly angular, but it's more round than angular. Whereas here on the kio mi, we can see this is rounded on the edge, but here it goes more flatter. It's bulged, it's rounded, but it's more ovaloid if you turned it around in your hand. And here it goes to rounded. <coughs> One thing you will notice a lot on the bear tooth is that along the edges of the point of the tooth, it will have thin black lines along it. And maybe I can. You can see here very thin black lines or brown stained lines. You can see them like very lots of lines going di uh, across the tooth like this. And you can see the tooth itself has a ridge here and a ridge here, and then a bulge, and has an angled edge on it along the edge of the tooth. You can see has an angled edge, so it's not 
round like the tiger tooth which we can see here this tiger tooth has much more roundedness not angled edge not a blade edge sharp angled edge on it rather it is much more rounded and smooth and you do not see you do not see the lines here you do not see if you see them they will be going more this way going up this way and you don't see these many 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 dark lines going this way across the tooth which is one of the best ways to recognize the bare tooth uh, often you can see this has a split along a split tooth along it you won't see this on all tiger teeth but on most of them you will be able to recognize this fracture along the middle if you can also see here the grains like wood grains this is the 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 growth markings of the tooth on the tiger which you will not see on the bear so you can see this slightly crackly kind of effect within the tooth and on the bottom you can see just where the inside within the skull turns into the ivory of the tooth tooth is actually ivory what we call ivory from elephants all teeth even human teeth it is ivory tooth is ivory so you can see where it comes here there is no kind of uh, distinct change in substance or line which we will look at the bear's tooth and see that is not the case in the bear's tooth and we have the bear's tooth here you can see that here the tooth is very smooth porcelain like white ivory and here it is more like cartilage like the inside of a squid's head you know the white cartilage bone yeah, it's bone it's more matte and not shiny and here is shiny so you can see along the edge where the tooth where the bone becomes a tooth along here you can see a distinct change in substance and a distinct ridge which you won't see on the tiger tooth yeah, and especially using this cutout piece here of the tooth is very good for recognizing the bear tooth and these lines across and the flat edge but the flat edge angled edges what I call razor edge you will also see on camel's teeth so just bring everything back down into perspective here again and we can take a look at before I move to the next which I won't deal with in this lesson but just to take a look at it the camel's tooth because it's also often mistaken for a tiger's tooth now with the camel's tooth you can see also this also has a very angled it's kind of ovaloid but with flat angled edges you know like two sides placed together and it has a ridge along the edge which you can just about see here like a cuttlefish bone so it has this sharp ridge along the edge and it's more of a flattened tooth uh, it's not as wide as it is it's, it's wider this way than it would be in its curvature going around and another thing about the camel's tooth is the hole in the top is also in this case it's quite small actually but if you have such a long tooth as this one and you look inside the hole in the top here you will actually see quite a very big hole it's almost completely hollow with a with a thin tooth and inside is almost nothing inside which is another way it will be lighter than the tiger tooth and if you look at the whiteness it's much more brittle looking has much less of a, a yellowy ivory looking this looks more like bone or ivory and this will look just much more like dry bone so they can be quite big 
and you can see now it doesn't cut in like in the in the bear's tooth it has a scoop in there but it has this flat edge on it and it's quite angular and then here will be mottled will have little mottled markings on it and quite a porous looking quite light porous looking bone on the tooth and so this is also one to watch out for because even collectors masterpieces of the Krungrang or this kind of talismanic animist charms including great ones from the great famous ones like Lumpon Nok of Watsangasi who did so many tiger tooth amulets and Lumpopan of Watbanghia who also did so many tiger amulets uh, we can look now at for example we can see all of these are presented as tiger teeth from Lumpur Nok of Wat Sankasi classic masterpieces all of them however not all of these are tiger teeth which shows that even Lumpur Nok either he didn't know or he just blessed them all and uh, so uh, all kinds of animal teeth are, many different kinds of animal teeth are considered powerful and used in Buddha magic. But it can be said that even the great masters will have made and empowered what they thought were tiger teeth, when actually unwittingly they were empowering camels or bear's teeth. Uh, sometimes they would know it's a bear's tooth, of course. But um, it seems that the collectors and the publishers, at least, do not always know how to recognize the tiger tooth and so we can look here this here is definitely tiger tooth this here is definitely tiger tooth this here is not definitely tiger tooth this here looks more to me like a bear's tooth deceptive and difficult because of this split here but this scoop here makes it definitely think of a bear's tooth and so this is in my opinion still a tiger tooth but because of its appearance difficult to recognize this also i will say is tiger tooth and difficult because a slight scoop next one this one I would say is not a tiger tooth it is a bear tooth this one I would say is tiger tooth this one I would also say is tiger tooth this I would say is a bear tooth this I would say is a bear tooth this is a tiger tooth this to me the shape looks like a bear tooth this also looks like a bear tooth unfortunately the picture is not clear enough to be able to check for the black lines here and so we could look at the change it's not clear enough to see the change in substance and so for me this is a tiger tooth this is a tiger too because of the substance but it's deceptive you can see lines here you can see the scoop out it's probably a bear tooth and so if you see like this you have to start looking more carefully and use the ridge to check use to check if there are edges along here if there is a separation in a border separating what was inside the skull with the ivory of the tooth or not and have to check very carefully to check very carefully indeed uh, this it's a bear's tooth and it's deceptive it makes even me think but it is a bear tooth not a tiger tooth this is a tiger tooth this well you're missing the tip but I was saying it's a tiger tooth this is a tiger tooth most definitely this is difficult because it's been cut and carved. But it's probably a bear tooth. This is a tiger tooth. 
This is a tiger too. This once again most difficult I'm gonna say a bear tooth this I will say a tiger tooth this I will say a tiger tooth and so there we have the difficulty with recognizing Kiyosua and Kiyomi this definitely tiger tooth tiger tooth tiger tooth I don't know unsure but probably tiger tooth but this piece here well I'd say tiger tooth if it was a uh, bear tooth this piece would be bigger and the tooth would come out longer I, I would say this is tiger tooth uh, we definitely have here a mix of tiger and bear teeth this is a bear tooth for sure this is a bear tooth this is also a bear tooth this will be tiger tooth and so there we go we can now see here uh, a nicer example more clear this is definitely tiger tooth from Lung Pao Nok of Wat Sangha Si and you can see here absolutely no difference in the change of substance it looks a similar substance so not bare with bare you will see different substance here and where it changes to the tooth somewhere around the point where the ivory of the tooth comes out it will change this is tiger tooth original from Ponok. this also is not a tiger tooth it's a bear tooth and it looks so like a tiger tooth and most people would be scared to accuse this recognized masterpiece amulet from Lumpon Nok of Wat Sankasi that has already been classified as tiger tooth and probably win awards with it. This is not a tiger tooth. I will dare to say this is a bear tooth. You can see the change between the ivory and the bone here. And you can see this big scoop. You can see the angle of the tooth here. This is not a tiger tooth. You can see the lines crossing across here and a definite ridge border here. You can see an angled ridge along the edge here. This is a bear tooth, not a tiger tooth. And I'm sure the owner and the magazine that published it declares it as a tiger tooth. So, it's very good to study how to know your anatomy of animals if it's what you're really seeking is a tiger tooth. So, as a last finishing off I'll just show you a couple more so that you can see bear tooth hmm? bear tooth bear tooth look at the lines crossing across yeah. and look at the ridge with the change with the ivory to the bone hmm? bear tooth hmm? bear tooth 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 tiger tooth this is a tiger tooth can you see it doesn't scoop in here it's thick along the whole way this is the tiger tooth these are all bear's teeth bear tooth bear tooth bear tooth with the lines across the definite distinct change in the tooth bear tooth bear tooth bear tooth bear tooth definite change here not tiger tooth famous tiger tooth amulet actually bear tooth not tiger tooth so that was the first part of recognizing animal teeth in talismans i hope to show an example of a camel tooth next time and we'll go on to the kiao mu ba the tusks and the kiao ling and perhaps kiao jorake if i can fit that in with the next episode for now the most important and most common distinction and uh, mistake which people make is the difference between the bear and the tiger tooth kill me and kill Sia, is covered now with this first episode so this is Ajahn Spencer for the Buddha magic project hoping this was useful signing off